So welcome everybody. Welcome to a new human experience podcast. Today is November the 25th, 2021. Our topic this evening is maximizing our internal energies. This is um, a continuation from last week's episode on understanding your spiritual blueprint. So I just want to give a very quick recap of of last week, um, what we talked about in the last week. So last week I used, I introduced a something called, um, it's a, a Chinese way of, um, it's, it's not just astrology. It is really a, a, a system of divination as well. So the reason why I introduced that is because I want to talk about all the energies that influence us um, when we incarnate on Earth. So before each of our incarnation on Earth, we actually, um, it's always preceded by very careful preparations. We as the eternal soul, and also assisted by other higher aspects of ourselves, we would come together and plan each of our incarnation to plan out, okay, so what do I really want to accomplish in this lifetime? What do I want to experience? Um, how, how do I want to, um, what are the reasons why I come on earth? Because uh, it's not actually, it's not just earth, even in other planets, it's always a very, it's a, there's a planning. It's not just something that happened, you know, by chance, a roll of dice, nothing like that. It's always planned very precisely so that it's going to further our soul's understanding. So, and um, so depending on what our plan is, we would actually align with different guardians to and each of the guardians really represents a collection a combination of celestial energies that animates and influence our experience on earth um, you can think of those energies as really the strings that is pulling uh, it's it's the the analogy i'm 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 using is really um, a marionette, which is like strings pulling dolls. Um, so those energies actually influence us and chain and, and really um, guides us on how we should, we, which we are most likely going to act how we are most likely going to respond to our experiences while we are here on earth. So that's what the, the, the guardian really is, that the 10 guardians is that um, the guardians, each of the guardians is a different combination of celestial energies. And that's why it's, um, it's so important to have a good understanding of the, the 10 guardians. So, and I think we, we also talked about what the, um, each of the characteristics of each of the guardians. And even though we all have a one guardian that is um, assigned to be, or one set of energies that is here to always, um, to be with us, to, to walk with us on this journey on, on earth. However, we have access to the other guardians as well, depending on um, what it is that we want to accomplish. And the, the more you are able to um, master your own consciousness, starting to raise your own consciousness, starting to work with the, your, the, your own set of guardian, the energies that belongs to your own, own guardians, the easier it is for you to have access to all the other guardians because it is all of these energies are um, here to support us to raise our consciousness. And um, 
that's why connecting to our own guardians is is kind of key to to all of that and also that the guardians that is the celestial set of energies are the set of energies that um yes we do have a choice we picked the the guardian um we picked the the time and the date of earth uh, on the date of birth that we come on planet earth we picked that very um, deliberately um, because when the day that we are born that's the first day that, that we start to to be our body started to be bombarded by the um, celestial energies that we picked because um, by by the day of our birth so it is really that set of initial energies that that when the energy when the celestial energy started to work with our physical body that's when the whole um it gets the ball rolling for the the rest of our our lives kind of it programs us and because the usually it's the first the first five years of our lives is the most important and that's when our body really get crystallized to and becomes programmed and crystallized to the set of energies and that we um have picked for ourselves to come and experience and it's important to connect with our guardians because it's it's a a, a case of use it or lose it. Um, Sifu James actually mentioned that why uh, people as they as we get older, how come some people started to revert back to being a kid and and they start to um, deteriorate is because their connection with their guardians unless they they do it very deliberately their connection with the guardians actually start to deteriorate through time and however when we choose consciously to connect with our guardian with the set of energies that really um breathes life into our body when we are connected with that set of energies and we really walk the path that we have chosen for ourselves when we when we live with purpose that's when even when we get to be you know old age like 80 90s even in our hundreds we would still be vibrant we will still be alert mentally alert and still our body would be um, functioning enough whereas people who really don't have a, a particular purpose they don't connect with the purpose and people just you know um, just having a very lazy kind of or well lazy is not the best way to use it the best word for it but really um without purpose living without purpose you know just living for the sake of of living usually though as time goes on that's when the set of energy start to leave our body because we use it or we lose it so if we don't use it then our connection to it starts to fade um naturally unless we we consciously connect to it. So but most people don't know about this, don't know about connecting to the guardians. So you guys, um, you know that is when you connect with your own guardians, angel and energy, um, your own guardians energy, then you would, be guided so that's the main thing i want to recap from last week 
So then this week, we the topic is maximizing our internal energies. So let me uh, pull up this Nix diagram. So this Nix um, diagram talks about uh, the set of energies. So the guardian of destiny is the the celestial energies and that's the part of the, that's the part of the energy that is external to us so therefore we at a human level we have no choice whatever it is that our soul chose to pick and to to come and to experience in this lifetime that's a given we don't there's very little we can do about it from the human point of view. However, there are a few other sets of energies that is within ourselves. So there is the star of destiny, there is the door of destiny and then stem of destiny as well. And I also want to mention the palace of destiny. The palace of destiny is um, it's a direction. So. So eight directions, north, east, south, west, and then um, northeast, and then southeast, southwest, and northwest. So all, all of those directions come together to be the palace of destiny. What the palace of destiny is, is really where your guardian energy comes from. So if you have done your if you went to the website um i'm trying to pull up that website it is this one remember last week i asked i give you this website's address and you all put in your date of birth and if you know your hour of birth you're going to put in your hour of birth as well so when you punch it in you would get a set of energy so let's say let me kind of um i should actually have done this let me just put in my numbers so you can kind of know um so you just to let you see the set of numbers so it is um to 30 right here so calculate so so this is my set so when you punch that in you would see underneath that there is all of these information already provided for for you so for me um so tortoise is my guardian and the palace of destiny is north so for me this the palace of destiny is that's where you get it each one if you put in your birth information you would get those and um <clears throat> those those two the guardian and the palace of destiny is fixed as long as you have your date have your birth date And if you know your birth time as well, then you would have, you also get a, like the star, the door and the stem information as well. However, some people don't know what their um, birth time is. So it's okay to just leave the birth time blank. And then you would still get a, um, a star, a door and a stem. They, they would still mention that but it's not the most um, um, accurate. It may, it may change. However, not to worry because the, the star, the door and the stem of destiny, those are internal energies. And because it is something that is within you, you can change it. It's something that you can change it if you wish to. Whereas the guardian energy is outside of you. So you don't, you, you really have no way of changing it. 
So this week, I'm going to focus mainly on the star, the door, and the stem, and also how to change these, because I've mentioned that, yeah, we can change this, but how? So, so we'll get there. But initially, I just want to very briefly um, look at what each of those are. So I, with, the, with my email to you, I uh, have also provided you with a PDF that has all of this already. So if you look back at the email that I sent, I think on Tuesday, um, to announce for the podcast today, this, this information is part of the PDF that I included in that email. So there are nine stars of destiny, and I'm just going to use this part because um, there is actually a more lengthy um, description, but I'm just going to go over the this because I don't think it's a very good use of, of uh, time for me to just you know go over things that you can actually you have time to read over whether it is before the call or after. So I'm just going to talk about the very briefly about what each of the star is. So heavenly bird, you can think of heavenly bird as being, you know, really um, the best, kind of the, 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 the best of the lot <clears throat> is um, okay, actually two things I want to mention first. First, what is the star of destiny? What is, what is the star? What is it? What is this set of energies used for? How does it affect us? So um, this part shows, oh, well, actually, even in my diagram, it actually shows as well. <clears throat> so if you see the star of destiny is around the area of the head. So the star of destiny is a set of energies that affects our thinking. It affects how we process information, how we think. So this is what the star of destiny do. And um, going back to So what the, so that's what the, the star of destiny is for, is really how our thinking is. So for somebody who has heavenly bird or just bird, um, their thinking would be really um, well-balanced person who is, a, um, how should I say it? somebody who is really um, educated, well-balanced, have morals, is pure, who, who really wants to work for, um, who really wants to, oh, oh I should say, it's, it's really a pillar of society, who really wants to help build up society to do things for that's going to benefit everyone. So this is what the, the energy of the heavenly bird is. So energy of the heavenly heart. Um, you can think of the, let me see. It says here is a, the heavenly heart. It's kind of like um, kind of like the bird, but it is just uh, a little bit not as as I would say not as giving, I would say. So the energy of the heavenly heart is more, people that are a little bit more calculating. 
So they are still have good leadership quality, but they would be, they, it's, it's like they have, um, there's always, they have an agenda. It does not mean that they are bad people. It's just that while um, servicing other people, they also have their own agenda as well. So that's what the heavenly heart is. So the heavenly grass, so grass is, uh, myself is a grass. And so I can kind of testify to that, is that yes, these, the, the, the grass people with the thinking is they, they, they do like to know things, to learn things. And they do have leadership quality, but there is a, um, a kind of um, risk taking, or I should say, bordering on being reckless quality to them. They would take gambles, not always calculated gambles. Sometimes they just take risks for the sake of taking risk. So that is especially when they are when it's when people are young and they are younger they they are not as mature then sh they the risk taking is perhaps a bit more um pronounced whereas as they get older with experience then they may get better it's um so with grass as the, the, the way that influence your thinking, expect to have ups and downs. So high highs and low lows. So that's kind of the, the thinking. And then there is ambassadors. Ambassadors um, are people who, well, they represent health. It says here represents health. Um, however, I can uh, actually, say that ambassadors are those people who are good at solving problems. They are good at negotiating problems, which also means that they tend to um, go for things that are not straightforward, easy. So they tend to go for things that are a bit more challenging in order for them to use their skills of being the negotiator and, um, and, and, and being able to smooth out problems. So destructors are, um, I think Sifu James is a destructor. So you can, you can think of destructor as people who are more aggressive on the aggressive side. So their thinking is they, um, they, they are very passionate. They really go for things. Once they put their mind to a goal, they would be very aggressive and they would try to control their environment and control other people and things so that they can get what it is that they want. Heavenly assistant, as the, the name is, they are usually more um, in a, I would say, helper manager role. They like to assist other people, be not, not that they don't have the leadership quality, but they don't tend to like to take the leadership um, position. They tend to be the assistant to leaders. They are very capable. They, they have great man managing skills and they are very educated and they are smart and all that. But it is just that their own thinking, they don't like to take the leadership role as much. And then hero, they are brave people. <laughs> Uh, I also want to mention that uh, you've noticed that, you know, some of the, the stars is in red, some is in black. So black means that they have some um, challenging qualities that, that um, when 
they're able to work through some of these challenging qualities, they would be able to turn, they, they can still be able to um, use the, the benefits or the, the strength of their star in a positive way. However, it's, it takes um, discipline and patience to work through this. So bravery, bravery and, and all of this, I think what's the hero? Um, oh, okay. They are, <laughs> they have a temp, they have a temper. <laughs> so they are very temperamental. So they, they tend to be, if, like if things goes well, then it's good. But if they, things don't go well, they, um, they throw temper tantrums more easily. So they are more hot headed. So for the heavenly grain, they are, they like to learn, even though they have um, property luck. However, they also have um, health challenges as well. And then the pillar is, I forgot what the pillar is. Okay. Oh, okay. So they are really the um, businessmen. They, so they have a good mind for business. They like to, um, they have, they have good um, debating skills. So it can be good, it can be bad, because it means that they liked to argue. So disputes, lawsuits, those may be um, are some of the things that may inflict people with the, uh, the pillar as their star. So these are the nine stars. So, so then next one, to talk about is the door. So let me go back to first talk a little bit about um, what the door is. The door, I place it here. If you look, it's about the, the level of the heart. So the door is, door of destiny is really about the emotional side of things about what motivates you so emotion is really energy in motion so what motivates you is the emotion so that is what the door of destiny um, really governs this set of internal energies so if we go back to the this so the first one the door of destiny is open. So all things, these are the people that are trailblazers. They, they are very good at um, taking beginning things. They, they, they are um, good at um, taking advantage of opportunities. They are good at solving problems that are usually when we begin a project, there's usually a lot of problems that we have to figure out in order for, for the, the, the project to be able to move smoothly. So the, these people are the people that loves to trailblaze. They love to um, look at, to be the first one to do something or the first one to find a new way to do something. So these are the trailblazers. And then the next door is the rest, rest door. So these are the people, um, you can think of them as being, you know, people with old money. So these are the, um, these are the noble, people with no, and in the noble class, so, so we're talking about the class system is, is they, they have money and they have been, they have, they've always have money. So for these people, they don't, um, they're not like the, 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 
the open people or some of the other people that likes to you know work hard these are the people who knows how to enjoy themselves who knows how to enjoy the fine things in life so they so that's what the rest is rest really is to is govern governing i think if you look at the yeah, it's the rest. So anything to do with relaxation, anything to do with recreational in nature. So that's what these people, um, that's what they are passionate about. That's what they, they, that, that is what motivates them. And the next one is next door is life. So governs wealth and prosperity. So as the name suggests life is these are people that are full of life so life of the party yes these are the people they knows how to entertain they knows how to um be they knows how to party they they is because they are so vibrant that it's easy for them to attract the wealth and prosperity And then the next one, the next one is a uh, harm, harm door. So these are people, harm does not mean that they are, um, you know, these, these are murderers or that kind of things, not, nothing of the sort. These are the people that likes to, they're intense people. So they come across like they can harm you, but they don't doesn't not mean that they are aggressive in that way these are people who like sports they really like to you know when when they play sports they don't like to go for golf they would go for something like you know running a marathon so they like intense energies and they like sports kind of activities so this is what the 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 what the harm door people, um, what are they, what, the, what motivates them? And then next one is delusion. So delusion is, um, these are people who likes to get confused. They, they make things more complicated. So they like to overthink and, 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 um, it's just govern peace, quietness, and peace of mind. So let me just check <laughs> unexpected outcomes. So, okay. Oh, okay. So these are the people who likes to hide out. They, they, they likes to create their own um, internal environment that is that may not be very connected with the external world so that is really so that's what i mean by they like to overthink so the next door is the scenery door um, scenery doors are the people who likes to appear to be like they 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 seek fame they seek popularity so they like to look good so um so that's kind of the 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 cue for people that are scenery yes and um if you notice the first three um of the door is a uh, first three are red in color and then black of course means that it's not good and uh, um, or not not that it's not good but it's more challenging to handle these energy so that's why it's black and the blue ones are kind of in between um it's like yes the people that are delusion they they like to create their own internal stories their own internal um interpretation their own internal reality that that may not be um 
the that may not match the reality outside but you know it's not a bad thing it's just that it, it may it's so it's kind of in the middle mm, same thing for people who likes to go after fame and popularity it's not a bad thing is is but it's also in terms of um being beneficial to humanity is not as beneficial but it's it's all relative so the deaf door is people who um who likes to take care of other people for example i i, rem I know i there are um there are definitely people that you have known who loves to take care of other people especially old people um sick people so they like to be the caretakers that's why is it's really deaf is they deaf does not mean that it's it's does not imply only death it means that the energy is um the stagnant energy meaning that they they are okay with the um, emotions that are not changing and and not easy to change so st stagnant energy so this is what in the death door those are people that are actually likes to explore this they are motivated by serving other people who have this and the next one is fear door fear door is people who either they themselves tend to worry and have a lot of fear or they are good at putting fear and worry into other people they 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 can use their um words to create fear in other people and um i, I think i believe uh, sifu james is this to be so he, he is very good at um motivating other people you, through fear so they would say if you don't do this if you don't let go of your uh, all your 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 issues then you know comes december 4th you're going to have a terrible time so he actually motivated used this fear and the his ability to instill fear in other people to motivate us to really um start to let go and look at you know what it is that we don't want to deal with and we've been sweeping under the rug for so many years so it really depends on how you use the energy so this is what the door of destiny these eight energies are and so the next one is the stem of destiny so let's go back it's the stem stem is the sacral area so the stem is about mm, the energy so it's kind of when you look at a tree it's the energy that supplies so the stem is really the the roots of the tree that supplies energy to the rest of the tree so the stem of any of destiny is how we get our nourishment and also it is how the it's about the results so um i think it's this one yes so this kind of is this is a, a slide from sifu james said so this is really how the energies work so home intelligent energy that is the celestial energies come down to influence our mind so that's why uh the star energy is is uh, associated and influenced by our guardians so through how our mind work how our, our thinking works it 
influences our emotions and our emotions really um, propels us, makes us to, to act, to take action. So emotion, action, and then the stem is really the results, the actual results and how it is that what we, it is that we experience and how we get the feedback of this energy. And so, and so this is a loop. So when we get the feedback, we kind of move up to, okay, it affects our emotions, it affects our thinking. And so that's how our internal energies runs our life. It is really through thinking, acting, and seeing the results, and then also reaping the rewards of our action as well. That's how we receive the energy. And then we fine tune how we think, how are we going to act, and this is a feedback loop. So that's how all the internal energies relate to one another. So now let's get back to talking just very briefly about this, the stem. So uh, the stem as well, there are six that are good and then, uh, oh no, actually there are five that are good and then five that are not so good. Or takes, it's a bit more challenging to, um, to really work with this energy. So heavenly bless is really the best. So positive flow of energy, everything is benevolent. And then heavenly virtue is also good, but not as good as that. And then heavenly power is more about charisma, grandeur, and So this is what the heavenly power and then the jade maiden is also good, but more so good in terms of relationships and nurturing, not, not, uh, not in terms of um, doing major, um, not in terms of being a leadership position, and the next one is Wu Heavenly Force for the stem. Still very good. Denotes you know authority, good planning. They they tend to attract wealth and support uh, financial support. Next one is Earth. Earth is good, but then it's still mm, so represent hidden problems, illness, and traps. So yes, it is, even though it is in red, but you know, according to the, 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 the energies, it's not so good. However, um, what is good about this is that, yes, there are problems and traps. However, the good part is that they tend to be able to um, discover what the hidden problems are and what the illness are and where the traps are. And because when you know something, when you know what the problem is, that's when you can actually solve, start to solve it and create solutions for it. So that is why it is still considered a good stem. So these are self-aware um, set of energies. And then heavenly penalty. So um, having to deal with um, more problems, obstacles, court, uh, people who likes to um, deal, so dealing with punishment. So punishment for wrong deeds and so these are the people who have this Ren prison. So these are people who 
um, tends to get into more legal disputes, or if not actual legal disputes, at least disputes, whether with family members or with other people, with peers. And the net, miscommunication. So these are the people that are easily un misunderstood, let's say. So even though they may not intend to be argumentative, but they would be perceived as that. So these are the 10 stems. So now <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about how to change. And um, so I'm gonna actually get to here. And um, let me actually try to move this a little bit. Okay, yes, that's what I want. Uh -huh. So the change process. Um, it depends on what it is that you want to change. So now that you have an idea of what the, the nine stars, the eight doors, and the 10 stems, now that you have an idea of what those are, I would suggest that you actually picked, pick some um, if you want to, uh, or maybe just as a, a an exercise is to see how it is because um, chances are not everything is perfect. And because these are internal energies, so you can actually um, change them. For example, for myself, my star is grass, my door is open and my stem is blessed. So my door and my stem are, you know, really, really good. It's just that my star is a little bit um, tougher to work with. So, so that's when I, so that's when I actually think of, oh, okay, let me try to change that. So how to change it? This is really the process of how to change it. First is really, first and foremost, before you even connect with your guardian is really um, pick what it is that you want and, and know that um, these are things that you can change. So you're not stuck with them. Even if you, let's say you pick something and it didn't work out, you're not stuck with it because you can change it. You can change it as well. And also um, the other thing is, yes, you can change. However, um, there are some combinations which may not work out. It's because it's your internal energies. It's your own internal energies. If you, the, the star, the door and the stem you pick does not work well together, then when you make the change, you will find that the energy does not quite um, work, does not flow very smoothly. So my advice is to make one change first, see how it is. So meaning make one change, meaning that you don't change all three of them. There's make one change change the star or change the door or the stem, change, just change one of them to start. So let's say, um, so, so in my case, there's only one that, that, you know, that I would think of changing. So then it's easy for me, but for some other people, is um, depending on what it is that you want to create in your life. For example, even for me, um, maybe if I want to, you know, bring in a lot more money, I would want my STEM to be Wu, which is um, to, to bring in more money. So, but instead of changing both my star and my STEM at the same time, I would suggest for people that are beginning to, 
to play around with this energy is to just change one and then feel how that shifts your own perspective. See how that changes how you play with life. And when you see, start to get some positive results, then go ahead and change other things as well. So the first one is, um, first things to, to talk about is the star. The star really has to do with your guardian's energy coming in to affect how you think. So your guardian and your star has to connect with each other. They have to be able to work together. So the star, um, it's something that you have to activate your guardian. You have to be connected with your guardian first. So before you connect that is to pick which star you want. For example, let's say I pick bird. Let's say I, I picked a bird as my star in order to change. And then the next thing is, is to really get myself into a higher state of um, consciousness. So don't just, you know, go out and um, let's say shuffle the snow or mow the lawn and then come back in and change because you, your body is not at peace yet. So do a bit of meditation, get yourself in a more peaceful um, state of mind. Once you have that, once you, once you are settled at peace, and then you can start to connect with your guardian. So when you connect with your guardian, I would highly suggest that you face, or I should say your, your the back of your head should be facing the direction of your guardian. So my palace, my palace of destiny, which is, which is the, the direction of my guardian is the north. So after I've done some meditation, I'm in a peaceful state of mind. I make sure that I would sit or stand at a, um, with my, the back of my head facing north. And then when I face north, if you, um, like usually when I face, when my head, uh, the back of my head is facing north, after a little bit, I would start to feel my guardian energy coming in, even without me trying to, to invoke that connection, because your guardian is um, connected to you anyways you trying to con activate that is simply to strengthen that connection. So strengthen that connection so, so that you can actually, when you have your back of your head to the direction of your guardian, you, and you activate it to, in order to strengthen it. So you just um, say five to eight. So the name of my guardian is Tortoise, activate. And then really feel, start to allow yourself to feel that. So my guardian is Tortoise. So yours would be whatever it is. Um, so, so activate your own guardian. The, the reason why you activate it specifically is just to, so that you have a better connection. So. What do, you, what do I mean by better connection? You feel the energy coming down into your head. You feel that and you actually have that sensation, start to have that sensation. So that's when you, that's a confirmation for you that you are really strongly connected with your guardian. And then in order to change your star. So in my case, because I want to change my star, 
to bird, I would say bird activate. So I activated that star. And because the star and the guardian has to be able to work well together, so I test. So the next one is to, I would say bird and tortoise connect and activate. So when you do this connect and activate both your star and your guardian, you would start to feel how the, the star that you have chosen is acting, how it is connecting with your guardian. So if you feel that there is um, an opening If you feel that there's a shift, there's an opening, then that's confirmation that your guardian uh, is able to connect with your star. So um, things, or I would say um, clues that your guardian and your star don't work together is let's say you feel your heart shutting down after you've made that connection between your guardian and your, your star and you, or, or the other thing is you feel your energy dropping. So then that is a, or, um, or if you feel any, any, um, I would say pain or other things in your, in your body. So that is kind of a, um, a indication that your star and your guardian is not connecting very well. So, so if that's the case, then you have to pick another star. So let's say if bird does not go well with my with tortoise, I may want to try heart. And I would do the activating heart and connect the heart to tortoise, connect and activate, and do that process again until I find a connection, a, a star that I want to, that I really like to, and it works well with my guardian. So that's how, if you want to change your star, that is what you do. Absolutely make sure that the, the star and the guardian energy works well. And then changing your door. So it's really just pick the door let's say if you want if i want to pick the door off um what are some of the other doors that i like uh, let me just quickly pick a door oh let's say life i like to be the life i like to experience being the life of the party let's say if i um so if i want to change the my door to life then i would say life activate and then I would, because I changed the door. So I have to make sure that my door energy works with the other energies as well. So then I would say door and star connect. So the door is life and I just change my star to bird so so then life and bird connect and activate and then feel how my energy works does my energy flows smoothly within my body or not and then if you really want to make sure then you would also activate stem door and star all connect and activate them. So my stamp is bless. So bless, life, and bird connect and activate. And then I really feel whether my energies, the Kundalini, Kundalini energy can run because if all these three energies don't work together, then my, the energies within my body 
won't be able to run properly. It will be, and so my Kundalini won't be able to run properly. So these are the things that you need to test out to make sure that whatever it is that you want to change, the internal energies actually work well with all the other energies as well. So that is the, the change process. That is all that I want to talk about this evening.